Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, schools around the UK were forced to shut their doors to pupils in March, halting the year very suddenly and unexpectedly. Halls, corridors and classrooms stood empty. Playgrounds, usually bustling with energy and noise, became silent and time away from friends became an everyday normal. Today, we've come together to say a final farewell to the place we've been part of for seven years. So, as we reach the end of our time at St Catharines, let's reflect on who we've become and what we've achieved during our time here. We've become resilient. We've become powerful learners. We've become heroes. We've become instigators of change. We found our thing, played our part and become the very best we can be. We've stood together, even through the hardest of times. So, as you take your seat and wave your final goodbye, remember the happy memories. We stand all together as the St Catherine's Leavers of 2020. Hello, it's Father Kevin here in St Catherine's Church in Southbourne just to introduce the Year 6 Lever service for St Catherine's School. It's going to be very different to what we've experienced in previous years and I'm sure when we think back to last year's Lever service none of us imagined the things that would happen very quickly over this year and how for a season things have been very different. But we are here to give thanks and to pray for those who are preparing to move on to secondary school and also to remember all the staff and teachers and parents and others who've supported them whilst they've been at St Catharines. And so as we prepare to get underway, let's begin our service with a prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for all those preparing to move on to secondary school. We pray for those who have supported them throughout their school life at St Catharines, especially for the teaching staff here and all those who work behind the scenes. We pray, Lord, as they prepare to move on in their school life, that your Holy Spirit will be with them and equip them for the road that lies ahead. We pray, Father, that as we give thanks for their time today, that you would remind us of the many good memories they have of St Catherine's School, and that we would bring before you our thanks for the many blessings that we share. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. Who would have thought that our Leavers service would have to be pre-recorded and that our time at St Catharines would have to be cut short? Nobody could have preempted the global pandemic of COVID-19. But actually, despite this unusual end to our time at primary school, this has given us the opportunity to reflect. We have come to realise just how lucky we are and how much we have to be grateful for. Here is a poem we have written that shows our gratitude. When this is over, may we never again take for granted a chatter with people we cherish, enjoying sports, clubs and competitions, the roaring stadium, meals with extended family and friends, anticipated birthday parties, holidays to make lasting memories, exploring the library for a gripping read, the uniform we have worn for the last seven years. Saying goodbye to friends, teachers and classrooms. The last day of primary school. When this ends, may we find that we have grown more selfless and generous. That we have become more resilient and full of grace. That we aspire to be more compassionate towards others and the world around us. May we continue to notice our more fragile neighbours and unite as one and stand together when times are tough. May we be ready to make the world a better place. Grace means deserved and undeserved kindness. 
It is the gift of love, forgiveness, patience and tolerance given to others when they may be unworthy. My grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. Integrity means showing respect to others and the world around us and doing the right thing when no one is watching. A man with integrity walks safely, but those who follow crooked paths will slip and fall. Proverbs 10 verse 9. The story reflects faith and trust. As we move forward on our journey, may we have faith and trust in ourselves and everyone around us. We are now going to listen to one of the miracles of Jesus, which can be found in the Gospel of Matthew, Mark and Luke. That day, when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along, just as he was, in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat, so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him up and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet. Be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. I see trees that are green, rare roses too, and I see them bloom for me and for you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world, I see sky Aspiration means showing a desire to achieve something better or to make an improvement. We should aspire not to have more, but to be more. 
Those who are wise will shine as bright as the sky, and those who lead many to righteousness will shine like the stars forever. Daniel 12 verse 3. I don't read the headlines I don't watch the news Cause I lose faith in something every time I do Well I don't mean to bury my head in the sand But I'm just trying to live this life as best as I can Times get tough but I don't give up Cause I no, I'm not alone Cause we're all reaching for something But we're all craving change Hoping tomorrow, tomorrow Is better than today And we're all searching for somewhere Trying to find a way Hoping tomorrow, tomorrow Is better than today Hoping tomorrow Tomorrow is better than today It's not easy sleeping When I lay down in bed Cause I got all these worries Running through my head And it's hard to keep pushing forward When trouble pulls you back And you wake up even further From a dream But I don't give up Cause I know I'm not alone Cause we're all reaching for something And we're all craving change Hoping tomorrow, tomorrow Is better than today And we're all searching for somewhere Trying to find a way Hoping tomorrow, tomorrow If we can fight together, we must strive together. If we can play together, we must pray together. If we can plan together, we must stand together. If we can cry together, we must try together. If we can sing together, we must make peace together. If we stick together, we must stay strong together. If we have faith together, we must believe together. We must work together so we can make the world a better place. Together, we can love the human race. Together, we can walk hand in hand. Together, we can take it. Together, we can make it. Together, we can lead the way. Together, we can make a better day. Together, we can make a planet called Earth. We must work together so we can make the world a better place. We children can come together, young and old, and learn together, laugh together, be happy together. We must try together if we can cry together. Together we can come, together as one. We must work together so we can make the world a better place. The future of man is built on a plan of working together whenever we can. So if must stand so tall and must alone cannot fall. For together, forever, we bring the best of it all. Together, we can. Hi, I've been part of St. Catherine's, like all of my friends. 
together, 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 we will be united as one. Our every moment, learning my life, about to move on, but there is something we needed to say. We all may be so different, all unicorns must have be said. We have all flourished. I will always remember your special journey through St Catharines because you've had a particularly unique and memorable beginning and end to your time where we've had to really think carefully about how you can be all together. In early years we had to create three new classrooms because you were our first skylarks, nightingales and kingfishers. We dug up the playground and we built the modular classroom for you. And now in year six, whilst you may have missed some of the usual activities, we really hope that we've helped create some lasting memories for you to look back on. And I want to thank you for showing ripples and waves this year and for showing me how children can be such good leaders at St Catharines. Keep flourishing and now Enjoy the photos of your time at St Catharines. You with the sad eyes Don't be discouraged Oh, I realise It's hard 
hard to take courage in a world full of people. You can lose sight of it all. The darkness inside you can make you feel so small. Show me a smile, then. Don't be unhappy. Can't remember when. Last saw you laughing. This world makes you crazy, and you've taken all you can bear. Just call me up, 'cause I will always be there, and I see your true. Thank you for joining us for the Year Six Leavers service, and a special thank you to all those who took part and helped put this service together. As we prepare to close with the blessing, can I just wish all those who are moving on from St Catherine's School the very best for the future? I do pray that whichever school you go to in September, that it will be a place where not just that you'll learn things academically. But actually, you'll grow as an individual, and you'll make good friends, and that you'll continue to carry those values you've learnt at St Catherine's of grace, integrity, and aspiration into your secondary school life and your adult life. And for some of you, this would have been the last opportunity I'd have had to see you, because, as many of you know, I'm preparing to move on at the end of this year.、Um, in January, we're leaving the parish, my wife and I, to. Moved to Israel, where we're going to reopen a church there, and so it would have been nice to say a personal goodbye to you as you left the church, if we've been able to do so. But nonetheless,、uh, it's been a real privilege to share in your school journey and to come into the school and to see you in church, and、um, I thank you for that. It's 
wonderful to see school children who really do understand those core Christian values. And I do pray, as I've mentioned, that you take those values with you into your adult lives and that they help you throughout the journey that we all make through life. Let's close then with the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord be gracious to you and make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord look upon you kindly and give you his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you now and remain with you always. Amen. My favourite memory was when we went to Farmer Palmer's in early years. It was very fun in year five at Hook Court when we learned to build rockets. My favourite memory was when we went to the Oceanarium in early years. I remember when in year four we had a Viking day and everyone dressed up as Vikings and we had a battle. I liked holding the chicks in year one. In year two I remember when I made a disgusting pizza, it was horrible. I remember in early years when there was um, some pictures of aliens around the school and we had to find them. It's really fun. My favourite memory is when we got to go to Hook Court and cut chicken in half. I remember in year five when we gutted fish in Hook Court. I remember in year one when we had chicks in our classroom. My favourite memory was being at Hook Court with my friends. One of my best memories was with the girls' football team when we reached national final level twice. I remember cooking chicken with Toby and all of my other friends at Hook Court. Going to Hook Court and staying with my friends. My first memory is when we did the Roman day because it was really fun, I loved the history. In year five, I remember being a fairy in the Peter Pan production. I remember in year three, doing the Christmas Nativity. I remember when in year five, I took part in the tumbling competition. I remember in early years when a police car came into, uh, into the playground and we learned about police stuff. My favorite memory was when we brought in the pets in year five. I remember when we had a great time at Hook Court. I remember playing with my friends. In reception, we went to Farmer Palmer's. I remember in early years when we would all have hot dog days. In early years, we went to the North Pole and we saw Santa Claus. When we competed in the dance competition. It's when we were at Hook Court and we made dens. In year four, where we had a visitor showing us the space dome. When we went to Pizza Express in year two. I remember in year five when we went to the fair. I remember the Victorian day in year one. The football competition at Little Day. In year four we made parachutes. When we got to bring our pets in. When I took part in Peter Pan. When we went to Rock Reef in year two. I really enjoyed going to the beach for beach schools. Dressing up as Mr. Men and superheroes. I loved doing the Fire of London. When we watched the caterpillars go into butterflies. My happy memory from year six was when we did the whole school. But I had to dress up as Victorians in year one. I remember every year we had firework nights. I remember when I was in year three, I made my first friend. Get on to the county finals in indoor athletics. When the year five and six girls football team went to Wolves. At the end of the early years, when we had an ice cream shop come when a teacher was retiring. My time at St Catharines has been amazing. 